Hello and welcome to my SEMrush review where I'm going to be giving you a demo and walkthrough of some of my favorite features that they have to offer, which can be very beneficial for increasing your online presence, especially in Google. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, not only can you get a free trial, but you can just follow along with me should you want to test it out and see how things work. Let's begin. Now, SEMrush is like a Swiss army knife of features, and unfortunately, I don't have time to go through all of them. That would be a very, very long video. Nevertheless, I'm going to go through the ones I think are going to be most beneficial for you. And that's going to be starting off with the SEMrush competitor analytics and research. Here's the cool thing that I like to do. First and foremost, you can actually enter your domain name in here. I'm going to be under organic research. There's plenty of ways to get to this, but just to show you, you can click on competitors here. And from there, if you scroll down, you're going to get a very quick look at some of the biggest competitors that you have. Obviously, the higher the percentage, the better it's going to be. Just for this specific example, I'm going to go with Mark and Blog right here. Let's click on it here. So now that we're looking at a competitor, what we can do is see what they have for their positions and their keywords. This is a great way to get so many easy wins. By doing this, we can go to positions. And if you look right here, we have a list of all of their keywords that they have, but to make it even better, we can go by position. So if we wanna get for all the keywords that are ranking in the top 10, we can do that. What we can also do is sort by the keyword difficulty, which I already have the easiest ones there, but say if I go back this way, we now have a list of the most difficult ones. And of course, like I recommend, go for the low, easy hanging fruit. So let's click this one more time, oops. And just like that, we have all of the easier keywords that they're ranking for in the top 10. These aren't going to need as many backlinks. You're not going to need as much authority. So this is a great strategy when it comes to finding your competitors, finding some of their easiest keywords that you can also rank for and continuing the process. Given the fact that we're going to be going after keywords, you're probably going to want some backlinks eventually, right? Because not every keyword you go after is going to be a zero difficulty, right? It could be 10, 20, 30, and so on and so forth. Now what we can do is take a look at the backlink analytics. Where are they getting their backlinks? Can we get one there too? Let's find out. Let's go on to the left side and click on backlink analytics. So if you are looking to build backlinks, SEMrush definitely has you covered. They also have a nice little authority score, which I'm going to read to you here. It's their proprietary metric measuring the domain's reputability. It accounts for the number and quality of its backlinks, organic search traffic, and overall authenticity of its profile. So this is good and niche relevant. This is a very important part right here. It says a link from this domain would likely benefit your profile. So what that means for you is that if you ever find a website and you're curious about should I get a link from them or not, this is a great way of you knowing. For example, they have a natural profile. That means there's not a whole lot of like spammy links being sent there. Link power is going to be pretty good. Inorganic traffic is going to be average, but still not too bad overall. Let's take a look at their backlinks now. So when it comes to their backlink profile, similar to keywords, SEMrush has so many features that you can use to make it so much easier to find. For example, we can take a look at all the active backlinks that they currently have, because if they've lost them, we probably don't want them unless maybe we want to go in and replace it. We can also take a look at the follow links because that's what's going to allow you to get that link juice and move up higher in Google. There are going to be times for say no follow ones, but in this example, let's go with that. And when it comes to links per referring do domain, let's just go with one so it's going to declutter a little. For example, if someone did happen to get some spammy links like 500 from one domain, it's just going to only show one. Now that we look at it right here, we have the authority score, meaning that most of these are going to be much higher. So if we go here and we click on one of these, say from WordStream, we can open this up up. This is going to be 2024. So last updated. So 273 winning words for emotional copywriters. Let's click X here and we can scroll down this very long article. Seems like it, uh, I don't think it's a roundup. It's actual a blog post. So if we go down to the bottom, so it wasn't a guest post, looks like a link insertion, but nevertheless, we now have the contact details for the author about how you can contact them, maybe get featured, see if they offer guest posts and so on and so forth. It's quite a great way to go about doing it in my opinion, because you notice that he has that specific backlink there. And there's probably a good chance that you can get one if you obviously have a good outreach and you're willing to play the SEO game, as I like to say, when it comes to doing outreach, okay? So you can continue on and keep doing the same thing here. He actually has a lot of really good links here as well. Here's another cool thing that you can also do. What you can do is go here by the first scene or last scene. So let's go here. And this is going to be 31 minutes ago, although the first scene is going to be much longer. There's a way around that to make it even better. What we can do is click on new right here. 
And as you can see here, a backlink is considered new if less than a month has passed and SEMrush first discovered it. So the good thing about this is that these are very fresh links. You're going to notice that some of the page authorities aren't as good. Like a lot of these can be certainly spammy. It looks like he hasn't been building too many aside from maybe something like this with uh, Podium. So we can click on this right here. You'll notice this was six days ago. So relationship marketing. Okay, let's scroll down. So probably wasn't a guest post. It could have been a guest post just with no like uh, guest box there. So another one where you can reach out, see if they're offering guest posts, see if they do link insertions, whatever it's going to be. But you now know where your competitors are getting their backlinks. You can go in there, repeat the process. And I think that SEMrush makes it very streamlined and simple to do. What I really love about their keyword research and their backlink profiles is the ability to really fine tune everything to your need. For example, if you just want the active ones or maybe you want the fresh ones because you know if he just got this not too long ago, there's a higher chance that you're going to get it compared to a backlink that maybe he got three years ago. They maybe don't offer guest posts. Maybe they charge more, whatever the reason is going to be. Nevertheless, I think you're going to have a great time when it comes to finding backlinks using SEMrush. Now, we talked previously about utilizing the information in SEMrush to see what your competitors are doing. In my opinion, that strategy you can do for a very long time. Find your competitors, find the lowest hanging fruit in terms of the keywords, and then find where they're getting the backlinks and repeat the process. Now, if you really want to go outside of that and see a ton of different possibilities when it comes to keywords, Keyword Magic Tool is certainly going to be for you. All you have to do here is enter a broad keyword and from there, as it says here, find millions of keyword suggestions for your SEO. For this example, I'm just gonna use say a product called ClickFunnels. I'm in the online software, online business niche. So I'm gonna go with this. Do anything you want here when it retains to your specific niche, whether it's a product, you know, uh, a broad keyword, say like fishing. I don't know why I just said fishing, uh, golfing, you know, cooking, uh, weight loss, muscle building, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna click search here and I'll meet you on the next page. All right, and I've done so many tutorials about their keyword research and I find it so much fun to do because once again, similar when it comes to creating backlinks or finding backlinks, their settings are very customizable. Here you can go for questions, which in my opinion, I've explained this a few times. I want to do it one more because it's so valuable. This will allow you to search for those keywords like does ClickFunnels work in certain country? Does it come with a checkout cart? Let me just click on here so I can show you. What happens a lot of times is that I feel a lot of people kind of pass by some of these questions. Obviously, some of them are going to be a little bit more difficult, which is going to be expected, but there's a lot of long tail keywords that come with questions. And usually that last question is someone a question that someone's going to ask before they purchase. So in my opinion, it's been very successful for me when it comes to creating content based upon questions specifically. Aside from that, I'm going to go back to all. You can do broad, phrase, exact match, or related. I like broad here because we're going to get a lot of opportunities, almost 20,000. You can go by volume, depending on how much volume the keyword has. Keyword difficulty, which is a great one. There's intent, so like commercial and transactional are usually going to be a little bit more difficult to rank for, but that usually means there's buyer intent for them. And a few other things like cost per click, including and excluding keywords and advanced filters. Nevertheless, here's a nice little tip for you. If you want to get the, the low hanging fruit when it comes to a specific broad category, I like doing zero to 29. And when we apply this, we're going to get all the keywords that are very easy and easy to rank for. So let's click on apply and wait a few seconds. And just like that, we have a ton of them. Now, what we can do to make it even better, we can click on the KD once. We're going to have to do it twice, but it's going to sort at the highest tier. And if we do it one more time, we now have some of the easiest to rank keywords when it comes to click funnels. You're going to see it starts from zero and then goes up, 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 up. But if you were just starting and if you were looking for keywords, this is the strategy I have used so many times to get up and running, get off the ground. So if you're a beginner, if you have a website that's kind of brand new, hasn't been around a lot, this is a great strategy for you. Even if you're like an intermediate and you have a little bit of experience, this is going to work well because it's going to lie to rank even easier given the fact that your site has a little bit of authority. Now, what I showed you are just some of my favorite features, and there's a lot of overlapping to it. We talked about competitive research, and of course, within that, the ability to find keywords, the ability to find backlinks, and there's so much more that comes along with SEMrush. For example, like if you want to audit your site, you can do that. If you want to audit your backlink profile, you can do that. If you want to even track your keywords, that feature is going to be here as well. And like I've stated previously, SEMrush is like the Swiss army knife of SEO features, and they have even more that comes along with that. Let's take a quick look at their pricing. All right, so here we are with the SEMrush pricing. It's pretty straightforward. If you're a beginner, you're a small team, you're just getting up and running, Pro is most likely going to be for you. We have Guru where if you need more projects, more keywords to track, more results, 
You also get many more features like the content marketing toolkit, historical data, multi-location and device tracking, Looker Studio integration, and much more. And of course, business, if you have a much bigger team where you want a plethora of features, more project keywords and results per report, then that's going to be for you. SEMrush does also offer the ability to upgrade to other features if needed, like additional users. You, if you want to go with the basic plan, the premium plan, we have SEMrush Trends, there's social, agency growth, scale, advanced, impact hero, and so much more. These are going to be more of like pick and choose if you want to utilize them, but just to kind of keep it straightforward and simple, this is going to be what they have for pricing plans which in my opinion is right where it needs to be and so much better than one of their main competitors given the fact in that they've switched the credits and that is no bueno if you ask me. So is SEMrush worth it? In conclusion, I would say SEMrush stands out as a premier SEO software that delivers simplicity and ease of use, making it accessible for both beginners and experienced marketers. Its fantastic keyword research tool is a standout feature, providing comprehensive insights that help you identify and target the best keywords for your content. However, SEMrush goes above and beyond just SEO. It's a versatile tool that supports PPC and social media marketing as well, offering quite the helping approach to your digital marketing strategy. As the top dog among big SEO software, SEMrush has significantly outpaced its competitors, particularly Ahrefs, which now adopted a credit system that can be very limiting. So if you're serious about gaining a competitive edge in SEO and improving your Google rankings, SEMrush is highly recommended. Its robust features and user-friendly interface make it an invaluable asset for anyone looking to enhance their online presence. And that should just about do it. If you would like to test out SEMrush, I will leave my link in the description, and if you click that, you can get started with a free trial for them. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I hope you enjoy SEMrush as much as I do.